channel and I know what you're thinking. Wait, wait. Welcome back to our channel and I know what you're thinking like where's the happy new year where's the merry christmas you know if you celebrate it my bad merry christmas happy new year i hope you all had very welcoming start of 2022 hopefully this year is great for everyone and you know we can discover new things about ourselves and stuff like that so yes I am back with another video one eternity later which is going to be not really an update I just want to chit chat with everyone and first let's begin I'm gonna teach you some Japanese right now I'm gonna teach you how to say happy new year and that's omedetto gozaimasu and that's akemashite omedetto gozaimasu and so yeah now you know some Japanese and in Japan like they say something before the new year starts or like maybe the day before I can never pronounce it right maybe yo 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 yeah. I'm gonna just put it at the bottom yo yo itoshio like I can never say it right then after the new year has come you say akemashite omedetsu gozaimasu and that one I can pronounce because it's easier the other one very difficult for me for winter vacation y'all know I went to see my friend I was talking about that the last video I made and so I was in Kansai which is around like Osaka and Kobe. I did a few interesting things. I'm not sure if I should get into that maybe another time. Just enjoy this montage of my winter vacation. Let's go. Spider-Man, Spider-Man does whatever Spider-Man does. Getting ready to go out. very clear it's my front camera <laughs> I put this in there and I missed it because I I flipped the camera towards the box silly me so we celebrated New Year's in Osaka we got some drinks and then the funniest thing happened we got into VIP at this place and that's a story on its own I've seen a guy dressed as a vampire, three people dressed in Pokemon and one disease. I don't know what kind of new year this is. I really don't. A guy was literally riding the bike with fangs like a vampire. What is going on? Yeah, so that's what I did. And it was pretty chill. It was a new experience. Um, my favorite part was actually the candle making party. I didn't know it would be so much fun to make a candle. I was low-key stressed though because it wasn't as cute as I expected. And I know I'm not good at decorating. So yeah. So I want to share a bit of culture that I've learned with you. So in Japan for Christmas, it's kind of like a couple's time. People don't spend that time with their family. They mostly eat like Christmas cake and maybe chicken. And I'm sure you've seen like many videos on like Japan and the KFC thing. I think the younger generation, they know that foreign people normally eat like turkey and stuff for Christmas. But I guess KFC is still popular in Japan. I think Christmas cake is just like the most important thing for Christmas. Here. and even when I was in Kobe I was trying to get some KFC that but I forgot it was around Christmas time so I was so shocked when I saw a long line and I promise I saw some people with tickets to wait in to get some chicken Look at the line to go in KFC ah. yeah. <laughs> everybody want to get chicken for Christmas shop. right they had tickets and stuff in their hand like reserved and that was very interesting they even have a special bucket that comes with a plate and apparently like 
you know, they change the design every year. I have a question real quick. So how do you celebrate Christmas in your country? Because I remember I had a discussion with other ALTs too. So I was saying that for Christmas, people eat turkey and ham because that's how I celebrate it. But someone else was telling me they just eat ham and ham is the most important thing for Christmas in America. But everyone is saying something different. So have some, some people are saying, well, they eat turkey and ham and you know, that's the thing. Another set saying that they eat mostly ham or roast beef. So yeah, what food do you eat in your country? How do you celebrate Christmas? For Christmas, I was in Kinosaki. The girls are in their yukatas. Yes, honey. With our see-through umbrella. It's giving. In Kinosaki, Thanks. one of the most famous Onsen places in Japan, and we're gonna go. Wow, <laughs> we're gonna go try onsens now. And if you don't know onsens, you get naked, go into water, and it's a whole vibe to relax. Nice. It's called a hot spring in English. Yeah. So yeah, I didn't have the Christmas cake or the KFC, so I didn't celebrate it like that. And for New Year's, this is like the big time in Japan. This is when people go and spend time with their family. There's so many different traditions surrounding New Year's in Japan. I can't remember all, but I'm just gonna tell you as they come. So normally people go to see the first sunrise. I heard something about like long noodles, but I can't remember if it's soba or another type of noodles. If you know, if you're, you're Japanese or like you're from Japan, just please, correct me as I go because I can't remember everything. Noodles and I think I was told it's about like long life for the year. I'm not gonna get into that but yeah and another thing is like omikuji. So people get omikuji. I don't know if you've ever seen me get an omikuji in one of the vlogs but I, I really like that. So you go to the shrine and you get an omikuji and what i like about japan is so trusting so normally you just put the money in the um box and then you pull out your omikuji so there's different levels of luck that you can get and the biggest luck is daikichi there's a paper and it has different sections so they have like your general fortune they have your fortune about love health work it can be interpreted in different ways so you have to put there's a lot of trust in japan so you put the 200 yen? Yeah. Wow, it's a pretty color. It's so pretty. Bad luck? No, it's not bad luck. It's the least luck. When I went to the city, it was different because they actually had a QR code thing because it's Corona time, so you don't actually pick it with your hand. To get a QR code and then get a number from the QR code for your omikuji, then collect your omikuji over there. So normally, like you would have to pick it, but for this one, there's no picking. You have to use a QR code, which is different. Where I live is like a smaller place so you can um, take it out with your hand and no i have not gotten an omikuji for this year yet i'm not sure if i'm gonna get one but i've gotten one for the past two years both times that i've gotten the omikuji like they all say like yeah love is good da, 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 da. if you're wondering like oh does it come true or whatever I, so far i don't think so <laughs> are you a nikki fan what? Am I a Nikki fan? <laughs> Pull up in the Sri Lanka. What? Y'all want What? I don't know. Like, you know, you read something and then you forget. And if if anything on it ever came true, to be honest, I don't think I would even um remember. So yeah, I I kind of just do it. Oh, good luck. And then yeah. Can get bad luck too. I should mention that. So there's good luck. It's like the in-between and then there's bad luck. But when you get bad luck, you're supposed to tie your paper at the shrine. I've also heard that you can tie your good luck paper at the shrine too. Japanese people have told me that. That when you have the bad luck for the omikuji or the fortune teller, you have to tie it here. But some people say like they tie the good luck as well so that it comes true. Is that true? Yeah. <laughs> but if you know better and whatever, please feel free to correct me in this video, but that's what I have heard. And yeah, I 
I haven't got my omikuji yet. <laughs> So that ends the cultural section of this video now I don't know I feel like I need to like rotate and like show you a different angle this side of the wall I don't know let's mix it up so it's the second week in January and things have just started I'm already teaching I've had the busiest day I've ever had at school yeah it was pretty fun actually to just constantly have something to do for now and I told y'all I started the kickboxing gym and for last month it was actually really really good there are lots of coincidental things that happen at that gym but my motivation to, for exercising is just not where it should be and I haven't been to the gym for the new year yet so I haven't paid but I need to pay Maybe once I give my money, it will become more real. I missed like a lot of possible days to work out. So when I do go, which is hopefully tomorrow, I have to go every day to make up for those days. I know that sounds so wild, but I think I need to do that. I just, I just need the motivation to like get out my house and go to the gym and it's so difficult. How was your new year going? What did you do so far? What's the most memorable thing that happened for 2021? I really can't believe it's 2022 already. Like the years are just moving faster and faster. You know they say like the older you get the faster the years move. Who said that? Who said that? Who said that? Sometimes I feel like I only share positive experiences i have with y'all but i'm trying to figure out if that's like a good thing or a bad thing because why share like the negative aspects you know like why not you know just be positive okay i think it is too maybe like in the moments when things are kind of negative they're negative for a short amount of time and then like when I'm actually recording and stuff like that, then I'm already over whatever it is. Because I don't really record in the instances of negative things happening. I'm only recording when like my motivation is like high. It's so good when I move the camera, but wait, okay. So I want to put y'all on. I know this as Dango. But this one doesn't have red bean paste. And I think the last time I had one, it had red bean paste in there. So I, let me show you. It came in this clear container and I really like mochi. I just wanted to share this with you quickly. It's so random, but yeah, it's, it's so good. Later. This year just feels different and I don't know how to explain it like I honestly don't know this year is something else I don't know it's nice to make goals well for me it's nice to make goals at the beginning of the year and then check your progress at the end of the year and I think yeah there is a lot of growth that happens you know you experience things you learn lessons so my goal for this year is just to be the person that I want to be if you want to you can definitely share your new year's resolution or what you're working on right now i know people say like they don't have a new year's resolution but like they make pro like different goals throughout the year so what's your goal for this month this year this week this today tomorrow like what are you hoping to accomplish let me know <laughs> i received the sweetest new year's message from a subscriber but it was so sweet and i really appreciated that message don't forget to follow me on my instagram um i reply to different messages and questions there so don't be afraid if you have a question about japan or you want to find out something feel free to you know check it out and i tend to go mia sometimes i know my consistency is complete trash like yeah but if I'm MIA, if you follow my Instagram, you'll definitely see what I'm up to. Like, you know, like if I, I'm maybe on a trip or something or I'm just vibing, I'll definitely post there. So, yeah. Thank you so much for watching. 
it was great talking about the winter vacation and showing you videos don't forget to like share comment and subscribe and see you next time for another video i can't promise no vlogs because editing is and vlogs just yeah so hopefully i get to chit chat with you soon bye dum dum dee dum 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 dee dum 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 dum